still be watching from here. Ah, I got the best view in the house. Sit down, let's begin. Welcome, friend, to the championship duel of wits. Well, the take-home version. Budget cuts or something. But, uh, look around, take it all in, and know we've already won. Our allegiance guarantees us both a spot on King Edward's court. How exactly is this going to work? <laughs> Before we get to the rules, I offer a toast and an opportunity. You see, while this game might stretch the imagination, for some I find it rather simple and in need of an additional mental challenge. Guards, the raisin juice, please. <laughs> this is my favorite game, though well, it's been a long time since I last played it. Are you familiar with hypnotic powder? One sip of this, and you'll have to do everything I say. And, of course, vice versa. In goes the powder. Guard number two, if you would. Hmm. I'll take this one. Whoa! Looks like you got the winner. And now, we play. So, the goal of the Duel of Wits is to hit your opponent's pawn with an arrow by moving these pieces around the board. Your pawn will fire an arrow after you move. I'll go first. After I move this shield, watch how the arrow bounces off the shields and around the board. It's your turn, Graham. <laughs> Not to sound like a royal guard, but as an additional rule, you can't move a shield your opponent moved on his previous turn. Will you please move the lower left shield to your left? I'm so happy we'll be working in the castle together, Graham. And if I ever become king, you'll make an excellent advisor. I'll move this shield, and they'll all have to accept it's what's on the inside that counts. Addendum. <laughs> you can move and rotate your pawn to change the direction you shoot. Will you please rotate your pawn clockwise? Your arrow will always fire in the direction you're facing. I do hope you realize all the planning I did to get us here. I'll just rotate this shield. Well, looks like the hypnosis powder is wearing off. Make any move you want. Not that it matters.
like my intelligence has reigned supreme. Guards! Guards! I've won! Please review the winning board. We have to do something. Graham is about to lose. Seriously? You all know I won. Apologies, sir, but Decree 3214 specifically states that all dual victories must be witnessed and verbally notarized by a royal guard, such that it can be recorded for posterity in our tournament record. Unfortunately, the board was compromised before a final notary could be given. Therefore, this victory is nullified, and another game must be played. We really are sorry, and assure you will be able to achieve victory once again. You are the most ridiculous guards I've ever encountered. No matter. Merely a delay in my ascent to knighthood. I'm ready to beat you again whenever you're ready. The goblets were placed behind Manny. How could I outsmart his little game? Back so soon? Raisin juice! <laughs> this all seems so familiar. Hypnotic powder. Mix them up. And now, you choose. Hmm, I'll take this one. Oh, excellent choice! And that was the last of my hypnotic powder. And now, we play. I wish I had other powders to make this game more interesting. I've seen enough magic powders for one day. Can you believe what that brute was hiding in his belly? What a disappointment. Well, I am actually liked his art. I'm not proud of embarrassing him. <laughs> Graham, that dope will never accept us. He should keep to the knitting. Whisper, though, eh? <laughs> Finally got a taste of his own medicine. He's not that bad once you get to know him. Are you getting soft on me, Graham? Do you have any other secret alliances I should know about?
heard you had a run-in with some goblins. I did. Nasty creatures, really. Ugh. But, uh, be careful around them. They're smarter than they look. Let's get this over with. It's the duel of wits, not the duel of ponder forever about your next move. Shame about Achaka, though. I can't focus on this game. I keep thinking about him. Well, once we're in the castle, we can make sure his people, the Pitstrians, get the surplus they need. It's the least we can do. I wouldn't notice that. I am ready for decree 3214.6 and Actually, a half. I think it was decree 1.21. Aha! We knew you could do it. You're out of the alliance. I can't lose to you. H how about another challenge? We only got to square off in a duel of wits. A well-rounded gentleman would win in a duel of strength as well. Graham, take this. It's these, baby. It's these, baby. It's these, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Um, here. <laughs> challenge uh, uh, how would you fare in a duel of speed no manny it's over just as the battle isn't always claimed by the strong and the race isn't always won by the swift sometimes the intelligent falter and i think now is my chance and now is my time come on graham one more duel for a chaka do it for the village of starving pitch threeans Oh, you said his village was home to the itch twins. What exactly is your plan here? Cause I'm Duel starting to- speed! No, oh, Graham, he's not worth it. The 
With a bridge strike resolved, supplies could be delivered to the shops again. Business started to pick up. The Wetzel Wolves stopped harassing the town and migrated north. Even the guards marched with a little more caution in their step. All things considered, it was a pretty good first day in Daventry. That was... that was amazing. I mean, you faced a dragon, you made weird new friends, you battled for wits. I... I just don't get it. Get what? With your busy schedule, how did you ever find time for a night job? Huh? Was that... did you just make your first pun? I think I did. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> they grow up so fast. The tournament! It's about to start! Well, you best get out there, young lady. Good luck. And remember what I told you. Take on the duel with kindness. I thought you said to be quick with it in the duel. I did. Remembering my past made me think about some of my roots I'd forgotten. Sometimes it's better to do as I do, not as I say. Thanks, Grandpa. I will. Are you going to watch? Of course, of course. <clears throat> I'll be down momentarily. Hope you practiced, Gwendolyn. No. Just listen to stories. Are you even trying? <laughs> Stop that! Yeah. What mm. are you doing? Just egging you on. Well, they are delectable. <laughs> Good show. Children! Children! Come along, quickly! It's your grandfather. 